Hey guys, welcome to Hammer Paints. Uh, we've got something a little special today. I'm going to do a really quick run through of the new, well it's not new, it's been around a little while, but of the game of uh, Bold Action, which was, um, which is, create, well it's made by Warlord Games um, and Offspray uh, Publishing. This is written by Rick Priestley and, um, and I'm so sorry I can't remember his bloody name, but anyway it's Basically, this is written by a bunch of guys that wrote the first and second edition of 40k. So you're going to expect something along those lines for, for this for this game. Um, it's extremely fun. Um, it's quite historic. I'd say it's more historic than Flames of War in a lot of ways. Um, and it's 28 mil, um, which is good. It's a nice change. You know, you, you can still do your war. Wargaming in your historically World War Two era, and you can step up to 28 mil, which is a lot of guys want to. You know, 15 mil does get a bit much after a while, but uh, let's get into it and have a quick look. Now, I've already opened this up. Um, this is actually my second take of this video. The first one I absolutely shattered. So, um, all right, we're gonna have a quick look here. Now, these are the bases you get. Now, um, I was going to use the uh, War Machine bases, the, uh, I think they call them the display base, and I thought to myself, well, they give you a crap ton of these bases anyway, but these bases are actually really good because they're thin, and you can just, uh, I'll show you later in some of the pictures of some of the infantry I've already painted to show you what they look like painted up. Um, the bases actually, when they're on the table, just sort of mould in as a terrain feature. It's quite nice. I actually do like this base system uh, quite a lot. So, there are your bases. you got a pretty simply simplified set of instructions on how to uh, put your dudes together. I'll have a look at that in a minute. There is an important fact with that. I'll just throw these out because these ones I've already done. Let's get into the first group. Let's try the first bit around. Uh, get this focused. Let's have a look. Okay, on this sprue, um, you get you got the options to put uh, MGs. Actually, that sprue's been cut. Okay, here we go. On this on the sprue here, you got the option to put the Stam uh, here 44 or the, the the, the assault rifle, the German assault rifle, rifle. Uh, you've got the uh, MG34 here, and then you've got the MG42, so you've got the options to put those on. Um, this is basically your weapons and um, extra fit out sprue. So you've got, uh, uh, like a, I don't know what this is, a little pouch of something. Uh, you've got a set of binoculars. You got some um, hand grenades, some stick grenades. You got one with a hand on it, so you can actually model one of you guys throwing them. Um, <clears throat> and here you got a basic set of rifles, um, but they've got some add-ons already on the rifle. So one's got a scope, one's got a bayonet, and this one here is the uh, I think uh, uh, can't remember what they call it. Call it maybe. Gehau 43 it says on the piece of paper here, so that's the semi-automatic rifle that the Germans had. Um, here you got some MP40s that you can also model on your guys. You can have one with the stock in, one with the stock out, which is really nice. So the stock just folded straight up underneath. They've actually got the stock um, molded in on this, folded, but yeah, that stock just folded basically around and turned it into a more of a assault weapon, more comp compact. Um, and you got the uh, uh, four here you got the four rifle rifle so you can have more riflemen. Yeah here we have the sprue with the dudes. So basically you got here's your bodies and as you can see they're really nicely detailed. You've got some heads. Here you got your officer head, your field, your guy with a field cap. You got all your different, um, you got your layouts here for your 
your different your different packs. You've got like your standard um, patrol pack, and then you've got your extended patrol pack with the um, extra sleeping arrangements and stuff on it, which is really good. Now, so you get uh, you get a, a fistful of these sprues, as you can see, to make up your um, your soldiers to make up your infantry. But uh, one important fact you really got to um, look at here in this in this particular set. I don't know if it's with all the sets. I'm, I'm assuming so. Is you got your instructions, and you really have to follow them. It's all it's all numbered. But the, the, the 14, um, is, it basically, it, it's sort of, it's numbered in the way that the most important thing that you have to keep in mind is that your, your arms here, down here are numbered. So your MP40 arm, which is number 4, um, which will be, ah, uh, shit. Uh, here, the MP40 arms, which are numbered here, these arms here, they'll only hold the MP40. You won't get another rifle into them now. When I first got this, I got the sprues, cut them all out, and realized that, oh fuck, I'm in a bit of bother here because none of these pieces are fitting properly. And then I went back to this instruction sheet and I, re I realized that each set of arms is designed to hold only one weapon so these number two arms here they'll only hold the rifles um, so in number one, your number one set of arms they're designed, they'll only hold that assault rifle so you gotta, that's really important um, if when you're putting these together so and it's, it's, it's really basic, it's just number uh, you know it's, I'm sure that could have given you some better explanation than just that. But that that's the guys. Um, that's the weapon sprue we've looked at. Let's get in and have a look at some of the more interesting things. So this here would be your pack 40. So you can see they're quite large. Like that's the wheels to the pack 40. There. Um, I'll grab the uh, the gun shield out and show you. So you know that that's the gun shield to the pack 40. Um, if I grab a sprue, you can see that up against a 28mm guy, you know, on edge, it's on edge, it's taller than the the one of the 28mm guys. So that that's um, it's quite impressive. I'll grab the bit that everyone wants to see. I'll grab the gun barrel out. Um, which is, it's quite large too, but like the gun barrel would be as long as the Flames of War tank easily. So that's, that's the gun barrel. A little bit bent. But, yeah, that's the gun barrel for the pack weeks. That's, you know, it's as long as, it's as long as my finger. Um, so it makes up, you know, the pack 40 is quite large. Now, I was reading that this is quite a scaled game too, so it gives you a bit of an idea of how big a pack 40 really was. Uh, let's get into the tank. So this is the tank. This is the Hetzer. Um, so it's quite, really, these are the tracks to the Hetzer. It's um, a similar system to Flames of War in the way the tanks come in this, the similar sort of pieces. Your tracks, um, your gun barrel, and all that sort of thing. Like it's identical. They're made out of resin, um, but there's a shitload more detail on these, which you come to you'd expect it since they're a bigger, bigger scale. But you can just see all the rivets in the in the road wheels, road wheels. Um, you know, you, you drive sprockets quite nicely detailed. Um, your idler and that's it's all. They've even got in this side. If you really want to get into it, here they've got the suspension put in, so you could, you know, you see it coming through. Um, this is your tank body. Um, so this looks like uh, this sort of thing. So when it's put together, sort of thing, and you, you gun barrel out here. But yeah, gives you an idea. Yeah, so this is the body. This is resin, and really nicely detailed. Really nicely detailed indeed. Um, 
I was quite surprised. I didn't quite expect the detail to be as high as this. Um, it really is quite high. Um, and then you got little bag of metal add-ons. So you got your uh, your, your hatch, your gun barrel. Uh, you got an MG, which actually looks really good. Um, so then you get another bag, and this one here is for your that's your MG42. So these are all metal, so you get like a bunch of guys. One guy's sort of feeding the, the MO in. Um, this guy's pulling the triggers, and you got one guy sort of scouting around having a look. Um, I won't open them. Um, uh, you got a mortar crew. Same sort of thing. You got, you know, one guy dropping the mortar in, one guy holding his ears, one guy sort of um, scouting. Um, there's your mortar sprue there. And you got the mortar base plate. And that's pretty much it. Now, um, this box is designed for um, a thousand point game in, in bolt action. It comes in thousand point blocks. Um, this is 997 points. So you, in this particular set, you get your lieutenant, you get your lieutenant, your two extra riflemen, you get your uh, four Wehrmacht squads, your mortar team, HMG, your pack 40, and your head. So this retails for around about $150 Australian. It's just quite cheap for a complete set, um, basically a complete 1,000 point army. It gives you a little bit of variety, you got your infantry, your tanks, your anti-tank guns, your mortars, your machine guns, it gives you, you know, it gives you all the good stuff. Um, and the only thing it doesn't give you is a rule book, it's basically just a start army, just like if you've seen in 40k, except in 40k you, <laughs> you don't get a 1,000 points off the bat. So, uh, the next unboxing I'll do is I'll do it on the starter set of this particular game I'll show you what you get in there and uh, we'll go from there now I'll throw some um, pictures at the end uh, or some little some footage of uh, some troops already painted up and uh, I hope you like them <laughs>